Hello, this is Lavender Lightworker. Welcome to my channel. Or welcome back. I'm going to be doing a collective reading of what do you need to know right now for my Aquarius collective all placements. This is going to be for my Aquarius all placements. What do my Aquarius all placements need to know? Please and thank you, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest bright white light. What do my Aquariuses need to know right now? This is a big double decker, so I like shuffling it real good. I kind of have OCD with shuffling, but whatever. Those other tarot readers don't even shuffle their cards. I mean, they were like, oh, that came out in the last reading. Oh, what a coincidence. No, bitch, you didn't shuffle your cards. <laughs> you know? Anyway, I shuffle my cards. So, let's just grab half of them. What does my Aquarius all placements need to know? Please and thank you. Right now. What do Aquarius need to know right now? What's in, Okay, we'll take that. All right. We have some type of anxiety or worry or nightmares, insomnia. Too many. Please, ancestors and spirits of the highest bright white light. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, Aquarius. Obviously, something's going on. Because we did, as soon as, um, <sighs> Aquarius, what's going on here? This is what we're going to do. We put two in the bottom. We're going to switch them all up. And we're going to shuffle these again. So that if they want to pop out, they can. Obviously, Aquarius, something's going on. Something that looks in this kind of energy. Okay? And then this little piece of grass is falling. What the fuck? Aquarius, what's going on? What are you guys worried about? What, am, what do I need to know about my Aquarius? What do they need to know right now? Somebody's worried. Somebody can't sleep. Somebody is stressed. About what, though? Show me, please, and thank you. And please, clear direct messages. It's like there's at least nine different things going through your mind. You're overthinking. You can't make up your mind about something. Okay. We got the chariot and the strength. For some of you, look, there's going to be multiple messages. For some of you, you're worried about... car troubles. For some of you, you're worried about an accident that happened. So for some of you, you're worrying about an accident that never happened and is never going to happen. And you, you just need to control how you think. For some of you, you're just having like these intrusive thoughts. Okay, I'll take that one. The King of Pentacles. Show me more. What do my Aquariuses need to know right now? Please and thank you. Maybe there was a car accident. And you're really worried about how much the damages cost for some of you. Or maybe someone else crashed your car. Um, and if this isn't that, I want to tell you one thing. For those of you that this hasn't happened and you're just literally in this energy of like worried about every fucking thing. One thing is we have a full moon in Aries. So the emotions are high. So people are overthinking. So I want you to know that you literally, if all these thoughts you're having that do not matter right now because they never even happened, you could be manifesting that into your life. So be very careful and have the strength to stop and control your mind from these thoughts. Really control your mind when it comes to these thoughts. Because if you don't, you can manifest these into fruition. 
Okay? So that's... And you can make them come forward. You can make these thoughts come. If you don't control yourself, you can make those thoughts come and and to reality. If you keep thinking, oh my God, I'm so worried I'm going to have a car accident over and over and over, then you're going to, you you can actually have a car accident because you're thinking about it too much. If you keep thinking about an accident you already had, you could make another one had. I actually had that happen to me, by the way, speaking from experience. If you keep thinking about someone that you miss or, or someone that left you, them coming back could be a Leo or something, or you not, or, or what if you, you could be thinking about you're wanting to drive to their house, you're stressed, like why they leave you, or why you want to drive to someone's house, or maybe you want to go beat someone up. I don't know. It, there's so many scenarios. The bottom line is Aquarius, you're thinking too much, you're overthinking, and you're thinking negative. This is not a good card. You're not thinking positive about whatever all these thoughts you're having. You're, you need to stop. It's not healthy. We can leave that right there. Um, what else does my Aquarius need to know? I almost feel like that's the end of the reading. Just stop. Yes. Stop letting these emotions, reject those emotions or reject those bad thoughts. Or stop being um, depressed about someone who rejected you. Rejection is God's protection. You're, or some of you are so busy thinking about shit that don't matter. It, it matters to you now, but it really shouldn't. That you're not seeing an opportunity that's right in your face. That does matter. Because you're too busy thinking about the past and what happened. X, Y, Z. And it's making you miss your train. You're literally, your train's on its way with more, more options. You got better options. God's trying to give you better options. But you're over here overthinking. What do they need strength about? Yes. Control your emotions. Well, while one thing, Aquariuses do not show their emotions. They're always thinkers. They love to be alone, even though they're social, whatever. In this reading, I'm seeing a, I'm seeing an Aquarius that is tripping because they're having emotions right now. They're not used to having so many emotions and they're tripping balls because they're like, whoa, why is this happening to me? Um, I'm usually very logical you know, logic over emotional, and something has Aquarius all in their head, stressed, because you're feeling all these emotions, it's like you're trying to not take these emotions, and the more you try, the more emotions pop up, it's like not only are you overthinking, but you're also having a lot of negative emotions, and I want you to know, I think it's because of this full moon in Aries. And you should have the strength right now to overcome this. Go um, do some physical exercise. Um, don't let anyone trigger you. Okay? Let me see more. The Emperor. Yes. Control your emotions. Control yourself. Control anyone that is trying to trigger you. Control your fucking dog. For some of you that have a dog that's acting crazy right now, control your dog. Because the dog feels the moon too. Because whatever you really are focused on right now will manifest. And so you need to really grasp control over your emotions. Um... Show me more. So, this is like the straw that broke the camel's back. So, it's like if you do not stop being in that energy of, oh my God, I can't stop thinking about it. I there's so I'm so emotional. What's wrong, etc. It's like you need to end that. 
and, and put your health first. Choose your health. Now, let's see. What is this Nine of Swords? What is this Nine of Swords? Please and thank you for my Aquarius. I've never seen a reading like this for you guys, Aquarius. Really. So, I know for a fact it's the moon. Watch my uh, How to Protect Yourself from these exact thoughts in the reading. Watch my reading about uh, the full moon and Aries. And you'll understand exactly why you're feeling this and how to stop it. What is this Nine of Swords about for my Aquarius? we got the Four of Pentacles. Let me see more. What am I Aquarius need to know? What is this nine? What are they? What are they stressed or tripping over? What's going on? Hmm. For some of you, it looks like you're waiting for money. You're trying to hold on to money. Um. You you're waiting for. You're holding on to money and you're waiting for money. For a very long time. Some of you, this is you're stressing about money or health. And guess what? Boom! There's your card, Aquarius. The star. You're going to get a miracle. Yay! See? Remember this manifestation? So, thank goodness this reading is turning around. Because it was looking like, oh, shit, Aquarius. What are you guys doing? But now, there's I already see that this is turning around. Um, it, it, it took some time. But you guys were able to hold on for dear life. It took a minute. And come back to literally a miracle <laughs> and save yourself. What is this um, chariot? Okay. Once again, an immature opportunity that something. This could be about a teenager for some of you guys. There's a lot of pinnacles here. This could be about a teenager. Okay, for some of you, um, I'm really seeing this is like a younger person that you guys are worried about. That maybe stole your car or, or just is being reckless. Um, and you're just really worried about this person. But if we're going to use money in this situation... Um, Oh, by the way, for the for those of you that are, this is about a child or a teenager. Um, I I'm just seeing keep them out of the city. You're trying to keep them out of the town or the city, something like that. Out of you know, trying to control them. Um, show me more of this chariot. Maybe they're out drinking at night and shit, drinking and driving. Maybe it's like you're stressed about someone that's drinking and driving or you're drinking and driving. Okay, that totally fell. Are you still there? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm totally getting drinking and driving. Um, like skinny dipping drunk type of shit. This doesn't mean it's you, Aquarius. This could be someone around you. Like I said, it could be a teenager or just someone, a friend. But anyway, some of you are drinking your emotions away. I, I see that. Some of you are just stressed the fuck out and you're having all these emotions that you're not used to having. And you're like, what the hell is this? So you're literally drinking. But what is this moon? What is this moon? You're going to have to have strength. So something is going to come to light. But let's find out. Oh, okay. The death card. Something's going to end. What's going to end under this moon? What do you need to have strength about? Gonna... What does my Aquarius need to have strength about? Under this moon, what? Okay. There's some type of trans transformation that's happening. An emotional transformation is happening. It's a lot of cards, but I gotta take them. Um, once again, sabotaging thoughts while you're alone and your feelings, drinking and your feelings. 
you're going you're going through a transformation in your life and it's causing you to become emotional. You're healing from something. This full moon has Chiron in it. Chiron is an asteroid that is the wounded healer. This could be affecting you. But what you really should be manifesting on is your manifestations. You should be focusing on the good, not... Okay, I'm going to let them go. Yes. See, the Ten of Pentacles. If you cut out if you cut out this drinking or this uh, emotional, which is hard, and I'm not telling you not to have emotions because usually you guys don't, <laughs> or at least you don't show them. But if you can kind of get a baseline back to where you're okay, if you're having negative thoughts, think of that as like a weed in a garden, like a weed. You know what I'm saying? And then there's flowers. So don't water the weeds. Pull the weeds. All these thoughts are weeds don't water them water water the plants the positive plants okay the positive thoughts and then you're going to manifest wealth health and abundance and longevity which is what looks like you're stressing over it to begin with and you it's like you need to control your manifestations and control your thoughts and your emotions, and this pain, yes, there's some pain from, there's a lot of pain right now, Aquarius, it, it seems like it's from your past, um, and your present, to be honest, it could have to do with family, what's this three of swords, yes, you're stuck, you feel stuck in this pain right now, Stuck. The death again. For some of you, you may have lost someone or you think someone's going to go or someone may be in transitioning period in their life. Like, uh, like not to be personal, but like my father is an Aquarius and he, he's a alive, but, you know, he's slowly transitioning. So I can see that how that could relate here, but that doesn't mean this is a reading about someone transitioning. But there, someone's stuck about... Oh, it just it just hurts that something is over and they feel stuck because there's this it's like you know a butterfly has to get out of the cocoon to become a butterfly it was a caterpillar and then, then it was a butterfly then it was a cocoon and then a butterfly well it hurt those wings you think it felt good getting those wings out of that really tight cocoon no it it hurt it hurt Moving forward, it hurt. It hurt a lot to transform. There has to be death. To, yeah, something has to end for for something new to start. And that's what I'm seeing is happening. And it's eclipse season, by the way. Yes. This, ton, this is happening fast. Something's happening way faster than you can take at this point. Show me more. Okay. Let me see more about that. What is this? Okay, there's that Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so a uh, side story for some of you Aquariuses or cross watchers. Some of you are tripping because you don't really want to be in a relationship or have feelings. You want to have your options out there. And some of you are either being pressured or you feel yourself falling in love with someone who might be attached to someone else or not available. Or it could be a Scorpio. Someone's starting to have feelings here and they really want to slow those feelings down. They're like, whoa, this went way too fast. And it's almost like you want to end it. Look, as I say that, you can't make this stuff up, guys. Is this about love for most of my collective? Is this about love? Is this about love? The star again. It's about healing and miracles. Healing, a brand new start. You want to be single. You just, somebody wants to be single. They they don't want to have all these emotions. What so? What are all these emotions about for my Aquarius? These 
Stressful emotions. What are they all about? What are all these emotions about? What are all these emotions about? Oh, someone just doesn't know how to be vulnerable. It's really painful to be vulnerable. Someone is really trying to work on holding their emotions and their romantic feelings back. They're holding them back. What's the advice for my Aquarius? This moon is very, very, like, literally... A lot of people are very emotional. Holy cow. You have a lot of repeating cards, Aquarius. Yeah, you, okay. Someone just wants their emotions to lay to rest. They want to think about it longer. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Um, I don't feel like I need to keep repeating it. Like, we got all these repeating cards. You know, like, how many times can we repeat? We got this twice. We got this twice. Wherever the hell it went. The point is, yeah, we got this twice. Hold on, I'm gonna find this shit. The, yeah, there it goes. We got the death twice. Where's it at? I never really do this, but I just kind of want to make a point for you. And then at the bottom, we have a new opportunity, walking away from a new opportunity in love. Um, Aquarius, I just see you guys wanting to walk, walk away. You're picking money over love. Yeah, you're leaving someone in the cold. You've decided to be alone. And... Focus on your work. You're, you're really holding back. You'd rather be single. You're going to ghost somebody. Someone's going to ghost you. That's what I see. So, pushing all these to the side. Just want to show you guys. Something's coming to an end. Something. You've, so, you've decided to end something, honey. But you're also healing... And there's a miracle somewhere in the mix of this. You were holding on for dear life to something. Maybe to healing or... It took a long time. This horse isn't even moving. It took a long time. Something just took a long time. And then something then suddenly went from taking a long time to going really fast... And then we have the death twice, which shows me that through all of this, you transformed something ended only to heal and start have a brand new beginning. And even though it took a long time, it, this brand new beginning is here. And I would pretty much focus on this. I wouldn't focus on this ending anymore. It doesn't matter. I wouldn't focus on, I wouldn't focus on how you felt before the ending or after the ending, because this is before the ending. This is the ending. This is after the ending. Healing. This is your star card. Aquarius card. This is you healing, naked, exposed, healing the water, using your experience to t talk to someone else and maybe a child or a friend or a teen and let them know how to learn from your experience. So whatever you're emotional about, everyone has to start their own story. Use it, transmute it into lead to gold. Heal yourself and others will heal around you. But being in this energy is no good for you. Do not water the weeds. Let this all go away. It's not going to take a long time anymore. It's moving forward. You don't need to hold on to the, the grudge or the grief or whatever. That's 3D low vibrational shit. Stay, stay here in this energy and manifest. This is where you need to be. Take all of this pain from these emotions that you're not used to and turn them into whatever you want. A new career, a new business, 
write a book, whatever. Just turn it into something good. Heal yourself, heal the community, turn it into something good. That's what I have for you, Aquarius. Put in the comments below if this resonates. Thanks.